What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fargo, and Netmarvel just dropped the villainous trailer for these three behemoths, and it looks pretty damn amazing, guys. So let's go ahead and turn the music off here, so that way we don't have two different types of music going on at once, and let's watch this. Nice. Sweet. Did you see that guys did you see that i noticed a little something there i noticed a little something there this is a pretty cool trailer love seeing spidey in there got the green goblin bomb nice nice so you just saw there we got to see a little bit of uh eye frames right there full eye frame nice i mean we can't see a whole lot from this but it's still pretty cool See Electro got a lot of e AOE. Both Electro and Green Goblin are speed, but look, look. See that? Dr. Octopus is a back to a combat. He's back to a combat. We gotta talk about that. We definitely gotta talk about it. his skill look awesome, by the way. And this, that looked nutty, right? This looks amazing. I freaking love it the characters look pretty awesome wow man i mean it, it, it's all right so the the elephant in the room guys you know regarding this is that you know uh unfortunately the other villains that were in the movie sandman and lizard aren't getting anything and, and that it does suck but you know what at least these guys are getting a little something 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 right i mean to be honest guys these guys got a little bit more shine in the movie anyways but i would have definitely loved to see lizard and sam and something myself but it is what it is right but man what a great looking trailer that was nice and the fact that dr octopus and some of you might not know this is you know he used to be a combat right he was a combat character originally right but he is a super villain at the time now, spoiler alert, you know, for those of you that might not have seen Spider-Man, this guy ends up becoming, well, a hero. By the end of the movie, he's actually a hero. So I don't know if they're going to make him a superhero, if they're going to, you know, keep him as a super villain. It's hard telling. These two guys are going to remain as uh, speed super villains. I'm pretty sure, almost guarantee it. This guy definitely is going to be a super villain. And I mean, I'm pretty sure Electro might, but you never know what Nemo is going to do. But this guy, I mean, I don't know if he's going to be super villain, superhero. That's kind of the thing that we're going to be anticipating as far as the patch notes when they come out today. And I'm really excited about this because. I know for a lot of players, well, not well, okay, maybe not for a lot of players, but for some of us out there, the fact that this guy's a combat could be pretty awesome, and I'm going to show you why. So in World Boss against Null, get off of this, man, against Null, right, if you're way up here, guys, if you're way up in these stages, and you're pushing some high levels of Null, Right, I know not everybody is, but if you are one of those people, look what you need. You need combat humans, right? You need combat humans. And, well, there just isn't any characters that can do this. The only character that can do this is Mr. Fantastic, right? On a, you know, highly leveled up account, right? But he needs his support, right? We got Taskmaster, but... I don't have Ben Graham. If I had Ben Graham, then Mr. Fantastic would probably do it. But I don't want it to awaken a character just so I can clear these stages, right? I'm a real stubborn butthead, and I just don't really want to do that. And if Dr. Octopus, whether he's a hero or supervillain, I'm going to see if he can actually do this. Because if he can do this, which, I mean, honestly, probably not. This is very, very high, but you never know, guys. Like, I don't have any characters that can do this, guys. Shang-Chi's strong, but he doesn't have any support. The only support he's got is Taskmaster. That's the problem, guys. There's no good, relevant supports here. Iron Fist cannot do this. It's way too high for him. He just can't, guys. I mean, he does have Jessica, and he can use Taskmaster, but it's just, it, is, it isn't going to happen, guys. Even with a brilliant CW Destruction, it won't happen so i'm pretty much at a stalemate in world boss legend i've just kind of been waiting and waiting and waiting for a character to be able to push even further right 
And I mean, Dr. Octopus, I mean, hopefully he's got a really good leadership because he's only going to have one support in this high level. And honestly, I'd like to have a nice, have a nice leadership anyways, just for combats or whatever. That would be awesome. I mean, I'm, I, I have high hopes, but that's really high. That's a really, really high level. And that to me is going to be the test to see if he's really going to be worth it because that's the point we're at in this game we need i mean I, I say this all the time we need a bit of power creep guys we need some characters that can push higher because right now net marble all they do is they just been giving us they give us strong characters they're good characters and they're very very strong but they're not pushing any higher than any other characters they're not really going over the top we need a character to shake it up it's not going to hurt the game at all if they do that because, I mean, you know, you bring in a combat, you still need speed, you still need universal, right? You still need blast, right? It's not going to hurt anything. Plus, you have all the restrictions in World Boss Legend, right? That prohibits characters from even entering into it. So we need a little bit of power creep, and I'm really, really open. I mean, I hope all of these guys are godly. I mean, honestly, Electro being a paywall, he really should be. But Dr. Octopus, I mean, for me, right, in my situation in the game right now, I want him to be fucking freaking awesome, guys. I almost slipped up there. I want him to be freaking amazing. I want all to be freaking amazing, man. They really should be. We need strong super villains. So let me know how you guys are feeling about the trailer. The patch notes should be coming out today. Unfortunately, I'll be at work whenever those patch notes do arrive. So I'll probably end up making a late video as far as that. But let me know how you guys are feeling about this trailer and what your speculations are for these characters. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. TMD plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See everybody.